Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Edith and today we are going to be cash stuffing the second paycheck of December. If this is something you're interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to start off by counting our money. I should have $1,700 here and then we'll do, I'll go briefly through my budget for this paycheck. Okay, so let's take our calculator out. I have $200. Then I have 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, plus 300, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83. Okay, then I have 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and I should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 15. Perfect. 1,700. So let's go ahead and put all of our money back. And I know I'm going to mess up my denominations because... Um, I wasn't able to go to the bank again. It's been really hectic at work. It usually is um, the last, right after Thanksgiving until the end of the year. Um, for those that you are new, that are new here, excuse me, I am a dental assistant in the state of California. And I don't know what it is, but after Thanksgiving, you know, People realize they have insurance benefits that are going to expire at the end of the year, meaning they won't roll over. So if you haven't used $1,500 of your insurance, um, it won't roll over until the next year. Um, they're done. They're lost if you don't use them. So people who, for example, we've told, oh, you need a crown on this tooth back in January or February, um, all of a sudden, remember, they have $1,500 left in their insurance, and we told them they needed a crown. Well, guess what? They called last week of November, first week of December, and they want their, they want their crown done. They want their crown done now. So, um, and we get a lot of patients like that. A lot, a lot, a lot. And we're not open the last week of December. We're closed. So... It calls for a lot of long, 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 long days. So, um, yeah, I haven't been able to go to the, to the bank. So, um, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to mess up. But it is what it is. So, we're going to pull through and make this video. Let me show you my break, uh, my breakdown on my budget really quick. So, today um, we are going to be cash stuffing, like I said, the amount of $1,700. So, our paycheck was for $1,550. Plus, we got the $500 child tax credit, uh, which is a total of $2,050. Our bills were $616, leaving us with $1,434. Our cash envelopes, we will only be cash stuffing one week, which is $350. Um, but for both weeks, it was a total of $700. Our sinking funds, some of them have high, um, we're putting a uh, hundred dollars or so into some of them and that's because of the child tax credit we wanted to allot some of that money to certain categories so our sinking fund total was 574 our savings is uh, was a total of 160 50 dollars going to each of the kids um all this added together 
was uh, a total of a balance of zero at the end. Also, if you are new to my channel, we are a two income family, but this channel, you will only see me cash stuff and budget my paycheck. And that is because um, beginning of March or beginning of May, I really can't remember exactly what month we started, but we decided that we were able to make ends meet with just my paycheck and put most of my husband's um, paycheck directly into our savings for something that we're working on. So he typically gets paid um, 1100 to 1150 every week. So he gets paid weekly and he keeps about $100 for gas and 50 to $60 for his weekly spending money. And like I said, the rest goes directly into, um, into our savings. So, so far this has been working for us and yeah, we've been able to um, build up our savings. I'm going to start off by, um, I know there's some money left over in eating out that I need to empty. And typically this money would go into our fund sinking fund. But, um, if you didn't see my latest video with the unstuffing of our weekly expenses, I'm going to link that video up here. And basically I introduced a new envelope, which is our rollover envelope. And what this money is going to be for is going to be for um, funding of our savings challenges. So either in that video, our weekly on stuffing or our weekly or um, paycheck stuffings, I will be removing extra money that we have in our sinking funds or cash envelopes that I don't, I feel, well, mainly in our cash envelopes that I will feel we don't need um for the week and put it in here so that we can like i said stuff our savings challenges so i'm putting in 13 dollars into our rollover envelope and i'm not going to count it yet because what i want to do is i want to go through our envelopes as i'm stuffing again today and see if i need to pull any any more money but we'll give it a count at the end okay and then I'm working on that video where I show you guys all of the savings challenges that I will be doing. Okay, so eating out. Let's see. Eating out is getting $30. And I did a 20 and a 10. And these here I carry in my personal wallet. Daycare is getting $100. And that was all in why is this lopsided? All in 20s. 100. Are you guys all ready for Christmas? Let me know. Also, let me know. What do you guys typically cook? We are making tamales. Our typical Mexican Christmas food is tamales. We'll make pozole or, you know, buñuelos. You guys have to try buñuelos. They are so good. Kids Fun is getting $20, and I did that in all five. So um, it's typically $15, but I'm doing $5 more because they are going to be on Christmas break, and I want to be able to take them and, you know, get a couple of snacks here or there, get out of the house every now and then. Personal. So my personal is getting $30, but I wanted to show you something that I got that I thought was so super sweet. Like I said, I work in a dental office and we have an endodontist who's a root canal specialist come in every two weeks and I'm his assistant for the day. And he gave me this really nice Christmas card, which was so unnecessary, but I really appreciate it. I appreciate it so, so much. And I'm not going to be putting in my $30 into my envelope because... He was generous, I'm not going to open the card, but um, he was so generous to give me a $100 MasterCard gift card and a $50 Starbucks card. So um, I'm going to take these apart later and put them in here and use this for hopefully the next couple of weeks for my spending money. Okay, moving on. What are we going to do? What should I do? Um, okay, let's do our bills. Our bills, uh, nobody wants to pay these, but I guess they have to be paid, right? 
So Carlone is getting a $253. And that should be fully funded for January's payment. So one hundred two fifty. One, two, three, two, fifty-three. So let's go ahead and put it all together and give it a count. Okay. So now, no, not let me let me do this right. Okay. So come on, Edith. Carlo now has 100, 100, 200, 300, 400, 50, 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 506 in Carlo. Great. Okay, car insurance is getting $169. 50, 150, 65. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's make sure I got that right. Oh, here I go again. Um, 50, 100, 150, 160, 165, 66, 67, 68, 69. So this one also should be fully funded for January. Um... Wait a second. Oh, there it is. There you are. Okay. So, car insurance now has 50, 150, 200, 50, 300, 10, 20, 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, relax most of these should be um, fully funded so I'm gonna stop saying that and they're all fully funded for the month of January so now monthly subscriptions should have 30 30 dollars 10 20 25 30 guys this is the first year in like my adult's life that I finished Christmas shopping um what is it like so I finished Friday Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. A whole six days before Christmas. There's been years when I've literally been at the store Christmas Eve. Like, I have been at the store in the morning trying to get my last night of gifts. Oh. And yesterday when I finished, oh, I was so excited. I was like, okay. I literally felt like a weight come off my shoulders. Like, I was so happy. <sighs> okay, utilities is getting 20. 20. And it now has 70, and it's fully funded. Yay! Okay, health and utilities is my water bill and my electric bill. And as soon as my AC comes off, like my electric bill goes down to like $50 a month. That's that. That's fully funded. Health insurance. And this health insurance is for the kiddos. The hubby and I have health insurance through work. So that's going to be $16. And let's give it a count. Should be $32. So... 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, and health insurance. Okay, cell phone is getting $68, and this should also be fully funded. So, um, 50, 60, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? Yes, 65 cell phone now has 50 100 10 20 25 30 31 32 and 33 34 35 36 136 in cell phone annual is getting forty dollars and there it is so two twenties in annual 
an annual now has 100, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 149 in annual. Perfect. Internet gets $30 and this is to get my internet service installed. Did I say 30? Yes. 20 and two fives. And yeah, I sh it should be um, $249 for the installation and then about $50 for the first month service. So now in internet, I have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1, 205. Okay, let's do that again. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 205. Yes, 205 in internet. And I do have some in the bank, but I don't remember exactly how much I have. Trash disposal is getting $5. Okay. So now I have 100, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 155 in, yeah, 155 in trash disposal. <clears throat> Credit card is getting nothing. Debt Snowball is getting nothing. We're going to start using Debt Snowball for the hubby's car loan payment, which is our last debt that we have. And we're going to be using this in the new year. Okay. Back to school is only getting $7 and that's a five and two ones and let's see back to school only had 20 so let's add it what am i doing okay back to school now has 20 25 26 27 27 and back to school i'm getting nothing but i want to see what i have in here because i really do want to put some towards rollover so I said I wasn't getting rid of that too, but I do want to put the $6 and roll over. So I'm going to put those back here and we'll add them later, okay? So it leaves me with 5, 10, 15, 17. Perfect. 17 is good. 17 is good. Fun is getting $60 and I think it has nothing. So let's do 320s in fun. Just like that. Haircuts is getting, uh, no, gas, sorry. Gas is getting 140 and that was all in 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 140. And that's a little bit more, that's $20 more than the one, the usual 120. But that's before, that's because, like I said, the kids are on Christmas break. So I might need to do a little more driving. So let's make sure it's 140, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. Okay. So let's see how much we have in here. Okay. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep, well, let's put the five and roll over. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 160. 116 gas shouldn't be bad. Oh my god, I found this spot. Um, typically, gas in my area, I usually only pump at Sam's, and Sam's was 411 last time I was there. Um, it's been 411 for a while, so I typically pump at Sam's. But yesterday, I stopped at this new gas station, which is kind of like right in front of a casino, and they're supposed to be like combined. You know, it's supposed to be a, like a casino-owned gas station. I don't know what that means, but uh, their gas was only $3.99. I was like, uh-uh, I'm going to fill up my tank here. So I did, and good thing is that gas station is right by my work. So I think that's good. It's cheaper. It's even cheaper than Sam's. So I think that's going to be my new to-go spot for gas. I even called my dad up. I'm like, hey, are you in the area? And he said, yes, I, I just took your mom to a doctor's appointment. I said, well, you need to go pump gas over here. <laughs> <laughs> so groceries is getting thirty dollars and it's twenty and two tenths. Yes, twenty and two tenths. And groceries is one that I'm not gonna roll over because I really want to build this one up. Okay. So 
Groceries has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. What are you doing over here, 20? Get back in there. Okay, let's count that again. Groceries now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 200, 5, 10, 11. 211. That's awesome. 211 in groceries. Haircuts is getting $25. And this is for the kids when they go back to um, back to school in the new year. My son will need a haircut, so now haircuts has now haircuts has 20, 25, 26. 26 in haircuts. Okay, household is getting 50, and I think household has nothing. Yep. Household has nothing. So we are going to do, I think I did two 20s and two fives. Oh no, I messed up in my denomination somewhere. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. So, um, household has, now has 20, 40, 45, 50. Yep, 50 in households. Kids allowance is not getting anything because they're not going to school. And I think they have $20 in there. Yep. Okay, gifts is getting $5. And it's five dollars just like that. So now gifts has 20, 30, 35, 36 in gifts. Holidays is only getting ten dollars. And it's gonna be two fives. Okay, so holidays has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, and this is if we want to buy like an shirt for Christmas something to wear although we always wear comfy pajamas for Christmas Eve um, yeah this is for anything extra that we need for Christmas 70 for holidays work expenses is getting nothing meds copays is getting nothing um, pet food it is getting $20 and pet food let me see let me think here um, our birds have enough food and I think this is how much I paid for the chicken food last time. So these five are going and roll over and they still have like half of a, I bought like the, what is it? Like 25, 30 pound thing. And that was only $25. So, and they're good. They have about more than half left for, so that should be good for now. Uh, clothing and shoes is getting a hundred dollars and that is because most of it is coming from, uh, the child tax credit, like I said, be all 20s. Okay. So, um, clothing and shoes now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 105 in clothing and shoes. This here is a new category. I don't even know if you can see it right here. And I just need to buy some purple stock paper. I ran out of it. So, um, this is for me to be able to hold giveaways on my YouTube channel and stuff like that. Or, you know, if I need money to improve my channel and, you know, little things like that. So, I am putting $15 in here. Let me check. Um, yes, $15 in here. So, that'll be that. $5, 10 15 to start off. And these pretty um, labels, I don't know if you can really see them on the screen, but these pretty labels, I'm going to link the Etsy shop that I got them um, from here um, in the description box. Miscellaneous is getting $40. And I'm going to leave these in here because I need to, I, I want to at least have $80 in here every two weeks, you know, to hold us over for two weeks in case we need it. So... Um, 20, 40, 60, 70 should be good for the two weeks though. Okay, and that is it for this one. Car maintenance is getting $20 
and I have, I'm also going to link the Etsy shop where I got this one from down below. And I'm only doing $20 here, so I'm just going to color one little car there. And eventually this one I'm going to move into my savings challenge binder when I get that in the mail. So um, now I have 120, 40, 60, 80, 200 in our car maintenance. That's exciting. Car registration. Car registration is getting $20. I really need to. It has nothing besides just paid the last car registration for the year. But I need to start saving up again. Property tax is getting $100 because we have our other tax bill due in April, beginning of April. Yeah, beginning of April. So it's usually November and no, December and April for us is when we have to pay our property tax bill. And it's about five, I think 573 or 583 around there um, each time. So now um, this is me saving up for it again. So 500 in property tax. Christmas is getting nothing. Birthdays. Birthdays is getting $100. And that was 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in birthdays. Perfect. And it has nothing because we used it all for my daughter's Knott's Berry Farm trip. Last but not least, my favorite of all. This is my favorite binder of all. Um, this is my kind of like my kind of like my savings challenge binder right now at this point. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so Leilani, my daughter is getting fifty dollars. And if you're new to my channel, this is all prep money, except for this ten dollar bill because I have this money in a high yield savings account. I rather have it sitting there accumulating interest than here doing nothing. So she's getting $50. We're going to add this. So um, at the end of the month, if I've reached $100 in this binder, what I will do is I'll switch this for prop money and then take this to the bank and deposit. Okay. So Leilani now has 100, 200, 500, for Leilani. Same thing for Nico, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to do these denominations because I know somewhere along the line I screwed. I screwed up. Oh, I think I know what I can do. Okay, I'm gonna do two 20s. I mean, three 20s for 60 and put this 10 back. Oh, look at me, not screwing up. Okay, so he should also have 561. Okay, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60, 71. Yeah, 571. 571. Good job. I'm getting five dollars. Five dollars for me. Um, the hubby is getting also five dollars. And I took some of this money in my last video for his Christmas present. So now he has fifteen dollars in here. Okay, Mama and Papa is getting thirty dollars. That's twenty. Oh, twenty and a ten. And they now have. This basically replaces the thirty dollars that I took from the one seventy in my mom and my dad's sinking fund. And so I'm using the Easy Cash Budget Planner um, with Savings Challenges. And this is where I do my, my budgets. But at the end of this book here, planner I should say, um, they have the $1,000 emergency fund, okay? And I'm going to color, I'm going to be contributing, how much did I say? $20, so each one is $10. So we are going to do one in a symbol accordion. Awesome. So $20 go in here, which is this one right here. Uh, 
So I'm just going to do a $20 bill because I'm running low on my denominations, okay? So let's go ahead and count this. Um, do that. 340, we are getting close to the $400 mark. This house is getting $2. And that's my last $2. Perfect. So now has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 in house. Okay. Um, and I think these 30, yeah, these 30 were my personal that I was going to stuff into fun because I've been wanting to go watch a movie with the kiddos. I think I'm going to do that after Christmas because I'll be off that whole week after that. Um, I want to go watch, um, Encanto. I'm a sucker for Disney Pixar movies. I love kids movies, like. I get more excited about going to the movies or to Disneyland than the kids themselves. So now fun has 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. That should be perfect. Okay. Shout out to, um, I think it was Madison. Last name initial was P. Um, she used my fetch code and that day, <gasps> They were giving out 3,500 points, and I got 3,500 points. Thank you, thank you so much, Addison. Huge shout out to you. Let me go ahead and count this right here. See how much more we were able to put towards our rollover. Where, oh. Okay, that fell on the floor. Let's see. So now, I feel like I've counted this a million times already. I'm sorry guys, I keep bumping into the, into my phone. Okay, so now rollover has 20, 25, What? $70 we were able to save. Um, that was in a week or two weeks, I can't remember. But $70 is not bad. $70 that we have for our savings challenge this concludes this video hopefully you enjoyed watching it um i really want to thank every single one of you we are getting close to 500 subscribers i think i'm about 491 when i'm filming this video um, thank you all so much don't forget to comment like and subscribe i really like interacting with all of you on here and i will see you on my next video thank you bye